What's going on everybody? This is uh, Tone from 12 Volt Mods. Just a little update on my DXi radio. Um, as I said in my last video, I was going to make one of the channels into a multiple three position system. Well, setup, I guess you could say. Where I can actually have uh, variable or three position or two position. Well, I already did it. As you can see on my DXi, um, I have these two extra switches here that I actually added. These are the actual switches that actually does that function for me. As you can see, here's my Trail Finder 2 hooked up and everything empowered. Um, this is the actual servo that I have hooked up to that channel. I have a zip tie on it to show you the position. So right now it's in center. And if I turn the dial, see it turns. Well, let's say I wanted to go to left or right. The nice thing is I hit this switch right here. It's a momentary switch. As you can see, the actual servo turn to the left. I let it go, it centers. I flick the switch and pull the switch again. Turns to the right, but centers. Let it go, left, put it back, flick the switch to the right. Now, let's say I wanted to do uh, two position. I turn this dial all the way to whatever side you want to go to. And when I hit it, oh, sorry, I'll just put it this way. And when I hit this, there it goes all the way to the right. Let it go back all the way to the left. All the way to the right, all the way to the left. Now, let's say if I wanted to be on the right all the way and then go to the left, I just flick the switch back to where it was. And I hit this switch. And all the way to the left, all the way to the right. This is the dial that controls the centering and everything. This lets it go to left or right, and this is the actual thing that activates it, so you can bypass the dial. So, as you can see. So this is pretty handy if you have a, have a truck like mine, which I'm going to have a winch hooked up to it. You can I can actually hook up a winch to it and actually be able to use the winch. So I can get it to reel out, stop, flick the switch again, and then pull the other switch and it'll actually reel back in. So this way I, it's nice. I don't have to actually just sit there and hit multiple buttons to make it like reel in, reel out, stop, whatever. So I think it's more, it's a lot simpler. Um, worked out pretty good. I'm happy with it. I think it's going to work great. I might do it to this channel too, just so I have that extra option. Who knows? Um... I might do some other wild things to it. Who knows? I haven't figured that out yet. It's more the more I mess with the controller, the more I'm gonna to add to it, probably I guess. Um hope you guys liked the video. Thanks a lot.